Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, today I'm back with another video. Uh, the topic for this video will be finding the area, the surface area, and volume of a rectangular prism. Now these topics aren't too difficult, but it can get a little confusing trying to remember which formula corresponds with which uh, topic. So for the first example, we're going to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. And this essentially is just finding the surface area of a three-dimensional figure. Uh, the first thing I like to do is label my measurements. So the three here is going to act as our length, the two is our width, and the six is our height. Uh, then we'll write out the formula. The reason why I have this illustration with the prism open is because you can really see the formula being presented here. So with the open figure, we can see that we're trying to find the area of a three-dimensional prism. So you have our formula. Now all we have to do from here is just plug right in. Uh, so two. So now we have the two times six, which is our, our width and length. Three times two, which is our length and width. And our three times six is our length and height. And then you just got to solve from here. Two times six, twelve. Three times two is six. Six times three is eighteen. Um, just remember to always do what's in parentheses first. That's just basic order of operations. Continue solving. 2 times 36, and then our final surface area is 72 centimeters squared. Remember guys, units, units, units. We're finding area. Now for our next example, we'll be finding the volume. Now the volume is actually much simpler. So here, what we're trying to find is how much space is enclosed within the rectangular prism. So let's first write out our formula. Volume equals length times width times height. And all you got to do is just plug in 11 times 5 times 6. And that equals 330 centimeters cubed. Now, it's cubed here because we're finding volume. Area is always squared. Volume is always cubed. And there you have it.